Hello and welcome to French Cheeks Top Tip Videos. I'm Craig Phillips, the brand ambassador. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply two different types of paints that are the same color. The first one is the French Cheeks Chalk Wall Paint. I'm gonna apply this onto this area of a plasterboard. So that's like the equivalent of your walls and ceilings at home. I'm gonna apply it with a roller. The other one is the trim paint, but I'm not gonna apply that until the wall paint is dry. Now the colors I've used, you're gonna love. Now, I know you're gonna love this color, Velvet Crush. I'm gonna pour some into the tray here. Fair bit on my roller. It's a 10 inch roller. Plenty on there. The moment you see it apply, one single coat completely covers the colour below. Hopefully your walls at home don't look as patchy and as dirty as this old board here. But whatever colour they are, you'll see huge transformation. It's so thick and creamy and easy to apply just becomes a pleasure. Your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom, and actually still use them rooms with literally within hours once it's dry. You can put this paint on top of any other paints. If it's in a, a kitchen area, and of course it might be a bit more greasier, they may have had a silk on the walls. Just do give it a good clean down first, of course. Make sure it's nice and clean, dry, dust free, no grease on the walls, and then simply apply your chalk paint like this. Yeah, when the wife and I recently built our new house, we were being real creative all around the house using different Frenchy colours. And our bedroom, one of the whole main walls right the way across, we picked this colour and it looks beautiful. Now it's finished. Now this paint is EN713, means it's even safe to paint children's toys. Now with French Cheeks chalk wall paint, not only is it washable, it's in fact scrubbable with a beautiful matte finish. And that's just one coat and you can see it's a fantastic finish. It certainly won't need a second coat. You can see why they hashtag it the best paint in the world. Now the next paint I'm going to use is the trim paint. Still the same colour, the Velvet Crush, but what I wanted to do is show you the different contrast between them. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to start to apply some stencils on there and even paint a piece of trim. The trim paint, this can be used of course for trims, skating boards, architraves, doors, door frames and even radiators. So I'm going to apply some of this onto a softwood trim here. Shake, undo that. So of course, it is the Velvet Crush and it is the same colour. However, it will leave a different kind of contrast once it's dried. Again, just a very small amount of paint on your brush really goes a long way. Whatever surface you're applying it onto, one single coat and it already looks, looks fantastic. Now I'm painting this onto the bare wood. Let it dry out before you apply a second coat. So now that's completely dry, when I place it against the chalk wall paint, we can see the difference in the contrasts on there. This is that lovely matte finish, but this has now got a nice sheen to it, and you can really see the difference in that. Now, if you want to be really creative, you don't only have to use that on the trims, your skating boards, your doors, your radiators. You can also use French cheek stencils to create a nice decorative effect like this one. And it's worthwhile 
calling in, finding your local stockists, which you've got details of them on French Geek's website, to have a look at the different ranges and styles of stencils that French Geek have. But one of my favourites is Hearts of Morocco, which is this one. You can really see the difference in contrast there when I move that around a touch. Now hopefully that's inspired you to be creative with the different French Geek paints right the way around your house. But if you're looking for more tips and advice, why not you join the French Geek Fan Forum on Facebook or visit the website frenchheatpaint.co.uk. Mm -hmm.